Hello, welcome back. Good morning. Today, uh, in the Ring of Pain, we're going to be trying to finish out our Candle Hard Win Badge um, for the light side, as you can see there. So we're going to hop right in. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm doing very well. Um, hmm. This is a tricky room. We have been very much so spaced out from all the creatures in this room or all the loot in this room rather hmm I think we try and fight our way here and utilize this potion early well jewel is okay heat shield is also all right Oof. I guess we'll get the HP back. Kill both those creatures, and then we're out. I'll take the exit phase, or exit. Phase to exit? Is that what it's called? Exit phase. Yeah, teleport to exit. Um, not my favorite spell, but kind of is what it is right now. Oh, patience isn't a bad room for us to get this early on. We could get really lucky with like a blue or a purple in there for free. Grab a defense, see what this item is. Helmet, fantastic. Um, we'll go ahead and blow him up. Nice, we killed one more enemy behind him. And now, at the very least, we have a guaranteed path to this patience. We will grab Icebreaker, another solid item. Grab that potion. No reason to lose the HP there. Souls aren't really worth it, especially with the patience waiting for us. Oh, goodness. Okay, so... We take this damage, but we have... A potion, hopefully. Nope. Well, we might as well grab the fire dance. Good parry. Um, we'll take mushrooms here. Get some extra HP going so that we can also transfer transfer that HP to our defense. Uh, which we can actually do right now. Let's see. Alright, this is probably... One of the better starts we've had so far. I've tried this uh, this mode a couple times already. All right, we're gonna pick up waiting rags because we'll get some of that HP back that we're losing uh, from the fire dancer to. Ooh. Yeah, that's actually pretty solid. We'll get some of that HP back from all of it now from our mushrooms. Let's grab a defense. And we'll take the crossroads after we heal. Not bad. I've noticed in the harder difficulties, the early game is really... You kind of have to play it a little bit differently because, like, for the other modes, um, in the early game, you're really able to clear out most of the dungeons and you kind of take that opportunity to get some early souls and, you know, do what, do what you need to do to... Ooh, this isn't great. This is really not great, actually. Alright, we're gonna do this. And then teleport to exit. So now he should explode on both of them. Ugh, we got a big bio bag over there. Holy crap. Um, and then we might shuffle... Guess we'll do that. Let him explode. We can do the same for this. I would really love to be able to afford this purple chest, but I don't think that's going to be a reality for us. Yeah, not with all this damage we're taking. Shoot. So we're going to heal. Oh, man, we're going to take another two damage here just from that bio bag. But, yeah, you really got to be willing to, to give up some things in the early game. Um, 
on hard mode because you just you don't have you gotta like pick and choose if you've played any of the um it's a scrounger he's probably going over here right actually i kind of want to be over there all right we're gonna oh shoot okay well If you played any of the daily dungeons, it's kind of similar to those where, you know, you don't just pick up everything because, or you don't just try and kill everything because you can. You can. There's kind of a, you know, like a, a a formula to how to get through the room in the most efficient way possible without dying. Like, in this case, I really want the scrounger, and normally scroungers are just free kills, but there's really no way that we can guarantee this scrounger unless we have really, really good um, parry chance against them. Which, 50 for 3 could be okay, but it's, it's not enough. And we're already going to take damage there, because we prefer the patience. Um, there's, oh, man. Oh, that sucks. We didn't get poisoned there. Maybe we did? We probably did, actually. Um, more defense. Oh, that kills us, huh? This is unfortunate. So, you know what we can do here, actually? Now we teleport. We can grab this. And now we have to leave, but... Got us, it got us one more, one more item out of that room that we would have missed out on otherwise. We're going to grab more defense here. If we go to the right in any fashion, take this card or move, we get pinched. If we go this way, we have to take damage. Ooh, we stealth, nice. Okay, we got ourselves another potion. Uh, this will do some decent damage to surrounding creatures. That's a toss-up, so there's no real guarantee there. Might as well attack here. Ow. Again, we pretty much have to let this guy go. Oh, shoot. We just have to go, huh? We need an item. Oh, no. Not an item like this. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, 60% chance the run has failed, but 60% chance that we get healed? Nice. Okay. I guess we go back now. And we just leave. We are very, very weak at this point in the dungeon. Um... Oh, man. Well... We're going to take damage grabbing this heal. Well, oh, so we're going to get literally one HP off of it. We did parry that, which is good. And finally, we get our first purple. Will this save us? Oh, no, it won't. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, well... Maybe that dodge chance will come in handy a little bit. Oh, we attack first. Thank goodness. Okay. So, we kind of have to do this. Oh, there's a full heal. 
Oh no. You gotta get it. Okay, good. Yep. And go back. Perfect. Alright. Anything else in the room? Get rid of them. Fully heal. And we'll use that now. <laughs> Alright. 100% parry chance against this enemy, so we can just go ahead and kill him. don't know that there's much of a reason to attack anything else in this room. If we are faster than him, we could kill him, but we're not. Um, I mean, we could get four souls over here if we, like, mix the room up and, and, be, and are able to attack him. Maybe that's worth it, honestly. Yeah, and we don't even... I was going to say, because we have our teleport, so we could use that if need be. But I think that's all we really need from that room. Heavy boots, huh? Man, parrying shield would be great. See, that's what I think. I feel like I have to wait for these purple items. I don't think I can keep wasting my souls on these lower tier items. I mean, we don't even have any blues, but blue, in my opinion, uh, rare items are probably the worst tier, I think, of loot, like, as a whole. Like, some white items you can keep all the way to the end of the game, and I'm sure that's that's true for some blues as well, but in my experience, blue items just kind of suck. <laughs> they kind of aren't the greatest. Oh, man. All right, well. Nice, we got the parry. He's going to be making his way around the room again. I'm really just looking to maybe get enough for this purple chest. He's going to give us four. That'll bring us to about 50, 57. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen here. Um, he heals us for three, so that'll put us up to full. We have a big potion. Reprieve, chills, nothing. Hmm. We'll see what this is. Okay, so if we doubled anybody, so that would make 8. He would give us 12. So 12 would put us up to 59. And then we would get 8 between the two. So that would only give us, what, 67? Yeah. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Oh. All right. Well, let's just stealth him. And go to the crossroads, I guess. I mean, I don't know. How much damage do we do to him? Whoops. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. We'll heal up. Head out. Ambush or patience? Ambush is normally where I'd go, but... I, I fear we won't be able to kill anything if there's too many enemies in this room with too much HP. Like, if there's a spine back, we're dead, because we're not going to kill it fast enough to be able to uh, kill it before we um, don't get killed by his reflect damage. Ooh, wait a minute. Are you serious? Oh, shoot. Okay, so let's go back here. Cross this guy. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. 
Freeze them. Go to exit. All right, so now we have the room to ourselves. Uh, so we'll heal. We get a free blue. Ooh, shoot. Eighteen speed is pretty solid. We lose less defense off of this, though. We're gonna grab the Neuron Sight. See if we can make something happen with that. Um, I don't think we have the luxury of killing him. going for some attack there just because we're basically at the point now where if we can't kill things we're not we're not we haven't had the convenience of being able to kill things that have any sort of defense or um have a lot of hp with any penetrating damage so we're gonna pick up a little bit of attack here to try and help us out with that which now we may be able to kill this scrounger. All right, we're gonna heal here. Oof, this is a tough spot. Um. Hmm. I want him to go the other way. Alright, I'll take one more damage to force him to go the other way. And now we should be able to catch up with him. I'd rather take the two damage there. And now I can try and uh, shuffle him on top of me, which we did. Very nice. We will heal up because that heals us to full, so there's no real harm in doing so. Um, I mean, Transcendence could be okay, I guess, but it's not really going to do us many favors. I probably should not have picked this up, to be totally honest. Um, we'll get her attack back, I guess. And we'll try for this. Grab the defense. I guess we can grab the transcendence. Um, and then I don't think there's much of a point in trying to fight this guy, right? No. Give us something good. Give us something good. Uh, all right. I guess we'll take another patience. Is, is this like the third patience we've had this from? One, two, three. Oh boy. You know what? We're gonna teleport. Grab this guy and go. Okay, nullify first explosion taken. Or creatures killed by petrify add three to neighbors. We don't have any way to kill a petrify right now. Oh boy. Well, frostbite kind of looks like the uh, only real answer here. So I guess goodbye to complete. Complarity? Uh, clarity. <laughs> okay, what else we got in this room? A bunch of explosive enemies. We've got a loom bird. We've got one other bio bag. Okay. It's a 
toss up for these two. Where's the exit? It's that one. Let him get all angry. We're in a sticky spot here. No, we're not. We're good. Never mind. Thought we I thought they were gonna move once more. Um five, seven, five. So that'd be 14 plus another 10, so 24. So there's no way we get another... There's no way we get another chest out of this room. I kind of want to go for the potion. We probably could pretty safely. A quick approach. I think this is the... Spike guys, yeah. The lunging spine. Holy cow, we just need to leave this room. This is bad. Yeah, there's almost nothing we can do here. some more souls, I guess. And then we're out. Oh, we can't afford any of this stuff. <laughs> but we get the full heal. We get the full heal, so can't be too upset, right? At this point, we're begging. We're begging. Oh my goodness. We just get slammed by everything over here. Oh yeah, it's starting to hit that point now. Starting to hit that point in the... Uh... Oh wow. This really changed the uh, situation with the attack that some of these creatures have. Okay, maybe we can make something happen in this room. Oh, well, not with him. Got a nice crit there. Okay, okay. Ooh, I really don't... Okay. We get one HP here. We're gonna teleport so that we don't take any more explosive damage. Or, not explosive damage, but, uh... Bio bag damage. Why doesn't this explode and detonate in our face? Oh, because we have one more charge of our heat shield. I think we'll spend that charge. Yeah, that gives us enough for this purple. We could go for a freeze build here. That's that's one option now. It's really our only option right now. <laughs> I mean, at least we, we inflict freeze on parry, so have something. <laughs> yeah. But we still do no damage. So maybe we just say, screw it, and go to separation and try to get the item. I mean, I guess we do more damage to frozen creatures. No, we still don't. All right, let's get out of here. Let's grab the overgrowth. Now...
Let's just en ensnare this one. We're gonna Ooh, we stealthed the poison there, so we didn't take that damage. Very good. Um I don't know if I want this. Because we need to be able to get these guys together and we're gonna we're gonna lose attack on this. But maybe that doesn't matter, right? We just go for defense and try and like out sustain the uh, the other enemies that are in this room. Oh man, we need to do some work to get these guys together. Holy crap. Okay. Um Wow. We do still have enough speed for both of those. We have enough defense for him, sorta. However, if we go this way, he's the issue. And the door. We can't get him through the door. Okay, let's see. Do we use our defensive thing here. We're going to need to ha attack him five. We're going to need to attack him just about 40. We will need to use that. I feel like this just kills us. Do we need the HP here? Because we die if we don't. Oh, we're dead anyways, huh? No! Oh, gosh. And we're probably just dead. I think that... Oh, Shrine of Neglect. I think that spills the end for this one. Spills? Spells, I think, is what I meant to say there. Don't kill us. We could grab HP. Gives us a little HP back. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> Let's get our blood shard, our bloodstone. Clarity, defense, attack, speed. Yeah, just take one of everything. Why not? We get some more HP back. Now we have healing. Um... If we could ever attack anything. We can't afford these. Grab one health off of that healing pot. <sighs> oh, goodness. Alright, we got him out of the way. That's nice. What do we do here? He's stuck. So maybe we can maybe we can leverage this. All right, all right. Right, I forget we have the crits. We have to remember we have crits and we have extra ice damage. Maybe it's better that we didn't get the uh Maybe it's better that we didn't get the bludgeon. Um So we have, we do have some forms of uh, being able, or some some opportunities to kill enemies now. Although I think now we're out. I think now we just have to go. Because he's going to steal our souls if we move anyways. Guaranteed crit, so I don't really care about crit chance. Um, 
Um, my thought process with that is maybe with the extra attack, our crits on frozen creatures will be a little bit better. Okay, we're kind of we're kind of protected right now between these blockers. We got a reprieve and an ambush. Ambush, we might just die unless we can hang on to this explosive. Okay, that was pretty good. Let's heal up. Let's just shoot for the ambush and hope we get something good. It is almost guaranteed to be gold? Yes. Okay. We have some fire beads, which we need to take care of now. Oh, no. He's going to be the problem. Okay, we can do some damage to him with that explosive. And then we can also do this. But now we need to attack him nine times, and we are potentially going to freeze him all nine of these times. We're slowly taking damage. I'd rather him hit me than get more stats. Okay, one down. These guys are also going to be a pain, but... I think it's okay. I think we have enough healing just with this bloodstone to make this work. Fortunately, what are these called? Maggots? Yeah. Fortunately, these guys don't really have too much of an opportunity to do much, too much damage to us. We have, like, no items. <laughs> if we could get triple crits, if we could get the eruption out of this... That might not be bad. We gotta keep this for now, our frostbite. Sacrificial cloth, I don't think will really do anything for us. I mean, maybe, we don't have any... But is this gonna win the run for us, right? Like, is this gonna make such a difference in this game, in this run, that we'll actually be able to win? Speed won't matter for the for the light side. Defense does matter for the light side. Extra health would be nice with our healing, but I don't think it's going to do anything for us. Healing could be good. Or petrify on healing. I think this amalgam's gonna be really spicy and I'm scared of them. I need this. Oh my god, he already got out of control. Damn. Okay. Um, grab defense. Ooh, I kind of want that card over there. He's ensnared. Oh. We successfully stealthed him. We can't do anything to him either, huh? Yeah, we take a ton of damage if we do that. I think we just have to leave. Oh, man. We got all the way to the end with this absolutely dumpster build. 
And I have a feeling this might be, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad is what I'm trying to say. Um, let's do this. want to use that yet. We get a free gold over there. We'll take it. Uh, crushing dash. That would give us 27 damage or we go with the final form. But that's just for a room. Let's use the crushing dash now, I think. Yeah. See what this gold is. Could we cheese the final room with polearm? Man, polearm just gets me killed so often. I mean, this gives us just a bunch of stats. But this might be the only way we can kill anything. I think we're gonna risk it for the um, collateral damage. I'm usually not a fan of splash damage on the light side, but I don't know that we have much of a choice at this point. Okay, no amalgam is kind of enormous. Oh, frick. happening okay. so let's do this Ooh. okay Fuck. see pole arm would have screwed me right here Heal up. We pass. Heal. So that we don't take all that poison damage. We've got three scroungers in here. This doesn't do anything, right? We might as well heal now. Wow. He's a beef boy. We move over. We do what damage we can here to the boss. We kill. destroy my stuff. I think we just go HP here to try and simply try and survive. I mean, the more HP that we can sacrifice, the more HP that we can use to do damage with our crushing concoction. But this is where that's going to be a problem. Okay, still no amalgams. We're gonna attack there. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute, are we just dead here? Oh, gosh. Oh, I don't think there was any way we could have gotten... Oh! <laughs> what? Okay, hold on. We're still not out. We're still not out yet. Um, I can't attack here. Oh, gosh, okay. Uh, actually, I kind of want to break him out. I can heal up with these guys. Ooh, not only heal up, but we can maybe kill the boss before we die. Holy. Why can't I teleport to the door? That's an exit. I mean, if we heal, yeah. Oh, I want that final form, but without my spell working properly, I can't. Um, oh boy. Oh, God. Bile bags galore. And they do three damage? <sighs> oh, he's stuck. He's stuck, and he's going to eat everything in the room. this way. Oh, God. We do this. Oh. 80% chance. Okay. Yep. And we attack here just because we get the extra little bit of damage. Oh, no. He's got too much damage for us. No. Stealth. Okay. He's stuck. Oh, wait a minute, but that dropped his attack. Oh, shoot. We can use him to kill everything else in the room. How does that work? Okay, 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 this is good. Let's grab uh, health. Let's heal, suffocate. And now, just keep attacking? We can heal, I guess, to full off of him. And we do more damage to the boss now. Oh, I don't know how this is working. I really don't know how we're getting through this. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be calm. Um, do we have vision of the room? I forget. We do. Okay. We have an amalgam. That we need to be very concerned about. Um, excuse me. Wow, there are so many moving creatures in this room. So what's five? Five plus four is nine, plus three is 12. 
Uh, plus two is 14, 15. Okay, so five poisons does 15 damage. I could kill some things in this room. I could get rid of the poison beads. That gives us eight. We're only getting half the benefit of it right now. Is this another amalgam? Oh, shoot. Okay, he adds more poison to these two, which is really good. Ooh, we can kill him. We can also kill this new bird. Oh, crap. Ooh, we stealthed. Okay, good. God, we're making it out. Okay, vision is going to be a problem. <laughs> vision is going to be a serious problem. Because we have to... Okay, he can't make himself invisible. So we need to analyze this room before we do anything. And then figure out what the game plan is. Okay, so... No moving creatures outside of... we. The fire breed has to die before we make things go invisible. Petrified damage does not proc the passive. Very good. Do we leave, just leave him frozen? And chase down... Oh, man. Oop. Um... Really don't want to take 16 damage. I wish I could see what kind of potion that was. The fire breed has to die. Okay, he moved another spot away. So maybe we do actually kill here? can attack this. He's going to explode now, but we can do the damage to the scrounger. Oof. Okay, this is where things get a little dicey. You know what? If we kill him, if we kill this guy, we're, we're out. Wait a minute. We don't get out of this, though. If we move this way, they just... Oh, gosh. He's frozen. Okay, he's stuck. Okay, I do need... I have to kill these bio bags. Oh my goodness. Alright. I can kill those enemies, which I probably should, but it's going to free up this bird.
Man, we take seven damage. Why do we take so much damage? comes down to this. We cannot win this because we don't have the defense. What an unfortunate sight to see. Dang. Well, you know what? I feel like we battled that one out to the very, very end. The last enemy in the hard run. We just didn't have the stats to do it. This one's still going up. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what some of your favorite builds are, your favorite mode, your favorite difficulty, what you enjoy about the game, anything you'd like to share. I'd be happy to hear it. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really helps get the videos out there, and I really enjoy making them. I got a couple of really great ones uh, ready to upload for the future, so you don't wanna, you won't want to miss out on that. But um, until next time... Catch you in the next ring of pain.